We finally got it connected. I found out it doesn't put out a signal through the, um, through these, it does not put out a signal that's so cheap it doesn't do that. You have to have these AV cables connected to be able to get a picture on the screen. First time turning it on. It's supposed to be new in box. By the looks of everything, seeing no signal. Why is there no signal? It shouldn't even come up with this. It should come up with a thing where it tells you, <clears throat> where it gives you the things for setting it up. Scanning. It auto scans everything? The heck? It's, I guess it auto scans everything. Let me see here if I can get into setup. Oh, there's the auto scan. So you get the time. There's no clock. Auto power down in two hours. This remote control is so cheap. I don't know how they could say this is worth forty dollars. I don't know how they can say this is worth forty bucks. You can use the forty dollar coupon. What coupon? I'm not, I'm not seeing forty dollars. This thing probably costs like ten bucks. Remote control was probably like five dollars to manufacture. The box was probably like. I'd say that's probably where most of the money went. Say about ten bucks, maybe five dollars. Probably looking at like a twenty dollar item. Maybe nineteen ninety five when it was new. That's when I'm suggesting that it should have that it could have been. That hair must have come with it. You can see on the front here how filthy it is. And I've just taken it out of the box. Fortunately, this TV here was made by Philips, so it's an early LEC screen TV. It's from 2007. It's an early one. This this DVD combo here is from 05. I had to put a lot of work into it to get it running, probably like 20 bucks to get it running. If you put the screws in here, it seems like there's too much pressure and it causes the VCR to stop working. It's just too much pressure, I guess. They built them so cheap. Funai is... Funny enough, is this one's actually built by Philips. This one's built by Funai. The quality is just really cheap. If you need additional assistance, I don't think I'm going to need additional assistance. So it looks like it's working fine, but I don't want to have to use these cables. See, when I'm talking about for menu options, this is all you get in the button. There's no button to move around in there, so you can't figure it out. The buttons, there's the two buttons here on the top that allow you to move around, but that's basically it. So. This is a NA382, so it's a Funai product. It's actually pretty, pretty heavy for a Funai remote control, which is really weird. With the batteries in it, of course. There's another Funai one. 
NB183. idea what we were watching. So it seems like it scans automatically. So I guess that's that. Thanks for looking at this. When I turn it off, the power button flashes for a few times and then probably about two dozen times and then it finally turned itself off. It's like it's waiting for the signal. Like there's something wrong with it. And I did notice this when I took it out of the box for the very first time. It was missing a screw. It's missing a screw there. So someone's been in this. Someone's been in this one. So you know what they say, buyer beware. But seriously, this is the reason why Funai and Philips and Philco are just some of the worst brands. They're just some of the worst brands. This is super light. It barely weighs anything. I bet you it weighs like two pounds. It barely weighs anything. It barely weighs anything. If you look at the remote control, it looks like someone glued it back together. Looks like the glue's old. It's actually getting pretty warm for it being made out of plastic. Keep in mind, there's no vents anywhere. As you saw earlier, there's no vents anywhere. So there's nowhere, no way for the heat to get out of this thing. It's just so cheaply made that they didn't have time or money for vents. They said, heck with... They're probably making $10 a unit. It's probably what, it's probably what they're bringing in with these when these were new. Probably like $10. I mean, if you had, let's say you had, you know, $40 and this is the cheapest one that you could get. The cheapest one you could afford, I would purchase it. But I would keep in mind, though. But I'd keep in mind, though, if this was 2000, you know, 8, 2009, if this is the cheapest one you could get, keep in mind, though, I would replace it as soon as you have money to get a newer one. Or a much more fancy one. So, yeah. So I, I noticed this because look at the plastic on this. It just looks so so crinkly or whatever you call that. It's just let's see here now because there was no data manufacturer on the actual television tuner so. I might have to open it up to figure out how old it is. There's a U.S. patent I could look online to see. So, anyways, let's look in the, um, let's get this thing turned back on and let's see what the setup is. Four. Let's see here now. Add a tenna. So it says weak or strong. This might be that RF out. I'm assuming that's where the. Yeah, set the channel to channel three. This TV is so new, it has its own. 
It has its own um, digital television tuner in it. There's no way to guarantee that you can find a remote control. There's no, I've tried just about every universal remote control I can find these days. I still can't get one of these to work with this, so. This is the only way to watch live TV on this. See how it's set through, this channel set to three, so we'll set it to, it was set, set, set the. Let's see here. I'm going to go grab the remote control for the TV, the one that I've been able to use. This is HDMI, but we're still getting... I find that funny. It says HDMI. Let's try channel three. Not available, not available. There's no channel three coming through. So let's go try the, let's go try the, let's go try the, let's try this. RF out, oh, okay. Let's try this. Nothing, nothing. So I guess it's like broken or something. There's no switch on this TV for channel three. So. Guess that's kind of sad when you have a TV that's perfectly good to use yet, but there's no way to get the, there's no way to get a remote control for it anymore in your price range. I did look this model up online, look for a remote control and they have them on eBay and Amazon for 40 to 50 bucks. And I'm like, TV's probably worth that. I'm not going to spend what the TV was originally worth. To get another remote control, it's just not worth it. Most people would tell me, just go out and buy one. Go to the St. Vinny's. They got them the same price that the remote controls are worth. It ain't worth it. So, basically, this is the only solution to the problem that's actually going to fix it. It's what happens when it's what happens when you get these TVs and they just have no they just have no way you just got no way to get to, to, to get the tuner in the TV to actually work anymore this is part two of this of this of this um series super satin productions